Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and I wanted to show you a fun little project that you could do at home and show you how you can make yourself a basically a DIY fan for your plants in case you want to give a little more wind simulate a little bit more of the nature outdoors and provide the plants some nice little light breezes of wind to get the stems stronger and give yourself a probably a hardier, healthier plant so let me show you how to do that you're going to need basically a few items first being a computer fan and this is something not too strong the bigger the fan the faster and stronger the wind is going to be so you want to be careful with that but you can play around with different ones you have this was just a computer fan that i had laying around from an old computer that i wasn't using next thing you're going to need is a basically an outlet something with low voltage if you look at the output here it says 5 volts. The stronger the, well, the higher the number, the stronger the power is going to be, and the faster this fan is going to blow. So I want to use something with very low number. And I got this cable from an old telephone set, I think, that I just wasn't using. A lot of people just have wires laying around. So take a look, you may have that. And what you want to do is basically, well, actually, also need very important electrical tape. Don't forget that. And then I'll do it to test it, see if it's running. So now we got our stuff, let's build this real quick. What you want to do is basically, on the after you cut the cable, you can cut it at any length. The longer you make the cable, the obviously the longer cable you'll have. So take note of that and see, measure out everything. Once you take some scissors, you spin it in a little circle and you take off some of this rubber coating right here that's protecting the wires here. And then you could split the wires here Basically, you see that one of them is white, has a white coating on the inside of the black protective coat on the outside, and the other one is just the wires. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these wires and connect it to the computer fan here, and it's really quite simple to do. And you're going to do the same thing to the computer fan, split the wires, and take off some of the protective plastic coating. And the way you connect this is quite simple. Basically, the you have two wires, the red one and the black one. The red wire will connect to the white wire on the computer fan. And the black wire will connect to the free wires here. So let's connect that real quick. And we'll be right back. Hey everyone, welcome back. And as you see, I connected the cables. So the red cable is connected to the white cable and you just put them together, give it a nice firm twist. And you do the same thing to the opposite side, the black one connected to the free cables here. And next thing you want to do is take your electrical tape and you want to run it through the middle here. This way you're keeping the wires separated from each other. And you close up the first cable there and then you flip, fold the cable inwards right onto the electrical tape and then give everything a nice firm twist and you want to use a nice big piece of electrical tape at this part because you want to make sure that everything is connected and the cables won't separate from each other when you're not home you don't want this thing separating on you and causing a potential headache even possibly a little flame so you want to be careful with that and give that a nice firm squeeze as you see everything's connected now the only other thing left to do is connect it and make sure everything runs. So we'll take our outlet and as you see the fan is working and when you put it to the plants, look at that, you have wind. So the only thing left to do is just basically place this, this fan wherever you want it. If you want it nice and close, we'll give yourself a lot of wind or further back. And that's pretty much it. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And as always, I'll do my best to answer everything. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Hey, I just wanted to mention real quick that I'm not a, like a licensed electrician. And I just want you guys to basically do your own research and always, always take safety first before doing anything that you see anyone else do. And I've done this many times before, so I know it always works in, in, in this case for me. But I just want you to make sure to do your research and be safe and 
be careful with any projects, anything that you're doing with exposing wires and reconnecting wiring. And just do a tiny bit of research and see, see it for yourself. And again, thanks for watching.